Well, well, well. Welcome, everybody, to Growing Up Gaming with your buddy, Pal Chum the Mooch. It's a big honor to welcome everybody to the channel, especially after all the love I've already gotten and received and subscriptions when I haven't even put a video up. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for that just to get started. Well, let's not delay, people. Let's jump right into it. If you're watching the news, you know what I'm talking about. It may sound batshit crazy to some people, but to some I sound like the voice of reason. So in saying that, let's talk about soccer cars. Soccer cars? Yes, soccer cars. I've renamed it. Just like we went from tissues to Kleenex, people. Soccer cars is a phenom right now. It's a combination of gameplay like FIFA soccer combined with a how-to video of changing your own oil. It's got that heart-pounding feeling that you get when you think about sitting down watching Real Madrid play Manchester City. Wait, that's right, we're American, we don't give a shit about soccer. But you get my point. And another thing about soccer cars. Why is it that I have to, as a YouTube subscriber to all these channels, get stuck watching hours and hours of Rocket League? Which, I'm sure you're all confused on what that is, I apologize, it's soccer cars. But why do I have to watch people doing tournaments and live streams? These are things that we've been playing for years, but we've been playing soccer games, we've been playing NBA Jam, Double Dribble, Blades of Steel, we've been playing these games for years and years, it's just instead of we're actually using hands and feet, we're using a bumper. I don't need to be told that this game is that great. You can't sell me on it. It's a free-to-play game on a company's piece of plastic, if you will, that doesn't have anything else coming out until mid-2016. I don't have time for this. I'm not going to go plunk down $400 of my own hard money just to play a game that overheats my system, and it's bashing a ball left to right into an empty net. This is idiotic. It's as exciting as saying that I'm playing an iOS game. I couldn't get my kids to play this kind of a game. Moving on to one of our bigger stories about smaller things, indies. Indies to me are the previews to the movies, the appetizer to the main course, or the mound bar to the Almond Joy. It's great for what it is, but it's light on excitement. Not because of just little content, but usually because it's short and lacking content. It's filler. Nothing more, nothing less. This is not an insult. It's just calling it what it is. Why do people get offended when you call an indie filler? The PS4 and Sony have made the indie their AAA this gen, and the media doing its best, whatever you say, boss, in compliance with Sony's direction, has all of us stuck playing indies far too often. Am I the only one that bought a next-gen system to play next-gen games? Indies bring the 8-bit and 16-bit games back to life. That's great, but been there, done that. I know I'm not the only one who feels this way. Anyone else thinking what I'm thinking? Shouldn't Journey, when re-released as a remaster, have been called Walking, the definitive edition? Oh, and did I mention gaming media? Yes, I did. So with no further delay, let's discuss the gaming media. For too long now, the IGNs, Kotaku's, GameSpots, you know, the usual suspects, have plagued us with their one-sided hate. This hate towards Microsoft, Xbox, and making you, the consumer, feel like you're buying into an inferior product if you happen to buy an Xbox or a gaming system with the brand of Microsoft on the label. Am I supposed to believe a kid roughly 26 years of age whose only knowledge of a 16-bit game is Shovel Knight? I grew up playing Coleco, Atari, where an 8-bit game felt like and was considered the true AAA game of those times. I played games like Ghost and Goblins, Bionic Commando, Mega Man, Games that you beat in one sitting, or you never beat at all. But yet these kids are the ones telling us, the hardcore, and us, the casual, what is the best system? And what is the worst add-ons, aka Connect? Well, I'm here to tell you they're wrong. Not always wrong, but 90% of the time, they're dead wrong. People like Mitch or Shaggy are these people that come on once a week and they say that they're Xbox fans, but then they secretly, and behind the scenes, bash Xbox right in front of your own ears. I've had enough, frankly, and that's what this channel's about. We're going to just slowly start and creep down the wormhole to expose these people, channel by channel, day by day, as news breaks, minute to minute. And before I go any further, it's time for me to take a moment to do a special thanks to three YouTubers that are the reason that I'm starting my YouTube channel with all of you today. The first and foremost is the pioneer, godfather, and the person who had the guts to do this when nobody else would do it two years ago, Next Gen 720 If you haven't checked his channel out right now, then you don't even know who I am. Next Gen's the reason we all got the backbone to get up and do this in the first place. 
So next gen, my hat goes off to you, and thank you very much. The next person I'd like to thank is Crap Gamer. Crap is literally the shield of Big Gamer Small Talk. He gets every single criticism, every comment thrown at him, and he puts his shield up. He deals with it on a day-to-day basis. The man takes a hit and keeps on ticking. I can't say enough things about him. Thanks for the encouragement, Crap. Thanks for letting me come on your channel so often, and thanks for the motivation. And last but certainly not least, Showstopper. Showstopper's got a way to make people laugh without saying one line. It's his laughter because it's genuine. The man is a pure talent. Showstopper, thanks for keeping everything fun and keeping this thing in perspective. That we are here to report what we're going to report, but God damn it, we're going to have a good time doing it. Thank you to all three of you guys. If it wasn't for you three, I wouldn't be here right now. Thank you so much. In closing for this first episode of Growing Up Gaming, I'd like to apologize in advance for my views and opinions because what I will do is show you how Sony and YouTube and the media are manipulating you to believe in one thing while I will be convincing you of the exact opposite. Ironically, I'll be doing this while many of you are watching me on a PS4 and YouTube. Thank you very much, everybody. More mooch to come.